very important and less discussed topic seems to be the idea of emotional blackmail which can be translated in the actions of parents towards their children where they impose a specific set of expectations on their children's lives in order to have satisfaction from this for themselves so parents choose how their children should live <laughs> what they should do how they should dress what they should eat what career they should have and and all of that and many of us because it's not just children it's adults also who who do this many of us unfortunately give in to this unfair emotional blackmail where we say okay yes i have my own desires and opinions but i cannot live like that because that would be against my parents expectations so i don't want to upset them so i want to be a good boy i will do whatever i'm being told just so i will satisfy their expectations so i can be loved so i can be worthy of their love because if i go against their will and do what i want to do with my life then i'm a bad boy and i don't deserve love and then i create my own trauma and then i waste my own life without even realizing so i don't think anybody in this world has the right to impose a fixed set of expectations on how their children should live their spouse should live their friends their family because parents don't own their children so there's no way and there's no right to impose a specific set of ideas that their children or their partners should live according to and yes it's true that we can choose our own way of life and then our partners our parents would be upset but then so what we don't have to satisfy anybody's expectations of us we just have to live this limited and short life to the best of our abilities with integrity with respect but with passion and if our parents want us to become a doctor or a lawyer and we just want to travel the world and sing in a band that's what we have to do it doesn't mean we're bad children or we're bad partners it doesn't mean we don't love our parents it just means that nobody has the right to impose and limit our way of living as long as we live with integrity and the best thing we can do here is to just live our lives as good as we can as passionate as we can without satisfying anybody else's belief now it sounds selfish okay but it's not or you can say it's a constructive layer of selfishness because this is our life we don't know if we're going to get another one maybe so maybe not but what's what's the point of taking a risk hoping we're going to get another life and what's the point of getting another life if we're not going to live this one to the best of our abilities with in integrity and passion so it's a terrible thing that many partners do to their spouse many parents do, their, do to their own children where they keep imposing their own limited belief system when i was your age i was already married when i was your age i used to do this and that when i was your age i was so what so what i am now my own age you no longer my age there will be a time when i will be your age and you'll be gone and my children will be my age now doesn't mean i have to impose my way of living to the next generation that comes after us it doesn't mean that if i choose to live my life the way i want that i don't love my parents or my partner or my friends it just means that <laughs> we're going to be here for a very very short while much 
shorter than we probably imagine. So let's make this worth it for ourselves. Let's not dedicate our life to satisfying other people's expectations of us. We live with integrity, with passion, with respect, and we are true to ourselves. And if our calling is very different than the expectations are, that's fine. We respectfully decline the expectations and then we pursue our own ideals, regardless of the outcome. Maybe we want to achieve something and we will fail. So what? It's our journey. We have to live it, learn from it, and, and keep doing what our calling is asking for, what our passion is asking for, instead of succumbing to this pressure, constant pressure that many parents put on their children and many partners put on their spouse that we have to do this, otherwise they won't love me, otherwise I'll be a bad boy. Otherwise, you see, it, it goes inside the mind and then we start abandoning our, our free will and our will to live and then we become somebody else just to satisfy somebody else's selfish expectations of us. So then we would feel that we are worthy of love. It's so terrible, it's so unfair. There's a lot of trauma being created from this. So we definitely have to resist it and in a loving manner, reject it and just choose to live our lives to the best of our abilities with passion.